All right, good evening, everybody. Thank you all for coming down tonight. We are live from Books and Books in Coral Gables, Florida, so a note to our internet audience watching at home. If at any time during the presentation you'd like to purchase a copy of tonight's book, you can just call the number on your screen. We'll take care of that for you. We'll have the author sign it, and we will ship it to wherever you are in the United States free of charge. We actually have three versions of the title tonight, uh, black and white English, color English, and a Spanish version. Uh, so this evening, Books and Books is very happy to present Ms. Jacqueline Ripstein and her new book, The Art of Healing Art, The, key to, the Keys to Power and Awareness. Uh, I am going to introduce tonight's introducer, who will introduce Jacqueline in a moment, but first we're going to have a brief book trailer. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. And now to introduce uh, Ms. Jacqueline Ripstein, author of tonight's book, The Art of Healing Art. Please welcome uh, to the podium a good friend of the authors, uh, Ms. Sherry Funt. Good evening. As you can see, this is a powerful woman, Jacqueline Ripstein. You can tell by this video how much is in the book. That's everything you're feeling from that video that you just witnessed is within the pages that comes from within the spirit of Jacqueline. This is a quote by Jacqueline. My art is the expression of the divine mind that lives in yours. She is an international fine artist. For 38 years, she inspired thousands of people across the world. And it's true, thousands, many continents, with more than 380 international shows. Jacqueline was born in Mexico. She began painting at the age of 10. She won a national diploma called the Prisma Color at that age. She's a unique, creative woman that has dared to cross the boundaries of the traditional art schools to create new, invisible 
art techniques. Invisible art and light technique is her deep desire to reveal the unseen dimensions. That is revealed within her art, that is revealed within the book itself, and then within the words that you will hear later. Her art will reveal the light within all of us and the invisible dimensions that create our everyday lives. She has advocated for world peace and helped to raise human consciousness through her high vibrational art, her books, her seminars and workshops. She participated in world events. One of them was in 1992 called Chosen. And it was in Spain where she was commissioned to paint Our Lady of the Universe to support widows and orphans of the war. She opened the Millennium Peace Day at the UN in New York alongside Mrs. Nain Anan in 2000. She's been in collaboration of the eight UN Millennium Development Goals. In 2012, she was invited by the government of China for Friends for Peace and the Arts to participate as a keynote speaker. And in India, in 2012, two years ago, she was at the first parliament in spiritual spirituality. She was a keynote speaker, and her art was chosen to be the stage background for the parliament. In her book, The Art of Healing Art, it's a unique transformational tool to help each one of us awaken to the enlightenment that is found within, a, within us. The messages of her 15 paintings that are found in the book are thoughtful and thought-provoking. And they will offer you personal clues to your own metamorphosis. And now, Ms. Ripstein. Hi, welcome everybody. I am glad I have a microphone. <laughs> Can everybody hear me well? Yeah. I want directly to take you to a live experience because I think that nowadays we're so used to being told about so many things that the important thing is to really feel it, really experience it. So take a deep breath in. And welcome a new day, a new opportunity to be inspired. And to be inspired is to be in spirit. We are vibrating energy. When we don't connect, or have a disruption of energy, we lose balance. Our energy goes weak. Adding to this disruption, the lower vibrations that were constantly exposed to our cell phones, Wi-Fi, microwaves, all this contributes to block our energy channels from the source of light that we're created from. We are vehicles of consciousness, and the level that we're at is one that will manifest the outcome of our lives. If we don't learn to expand our lives, we become limited. My art has been proven and tested by many scientific people, as its high vibrations can help you rebalance to reconnect to the light within you. Sorry, I have a little bit of dysphonia, you can hear that. The invisible electromagnetic power within a piece of art that you soon will experience enters our brain, not only through our eyes, but through the energetic power of sacred geometry, colors, and the connection that the artist has to several dimensions. Our human mind is capable thank you, of perceiving reality in a highly evolved manner. Through these senses, we connect to subtle realities. 
that's how the power of imagination unleashes. A good friend of mine, a scientist that died last year, she was a professor emeritus of UCLA. She's one of the people who did the testing with my art. I truly learned a lot with her. She used to say, Jacqueline Ripstein's paintings cover a broad spectrum from material consciousness to the etheric and the divine. They are the stimulus to enlighten mind and encourage physical health. To me, her versatility and skills represent a frontier direction of art. Dr. Han taught me how each of my paintings was opening certain chakras, which at that time I did not even thought about. And for years, I would see people transforming through the paintings and the experiences, but I really did not understand how that was happening. Instead of seeing when we experience a piece of art, a magical energy pulsation makes our heart beat. And through this beat, we connect to the beat of the planet, to the universe, and to life. A sacred silence language has been created where one heart speaks to another in silence. Each painting is a portal to a different electromagnetic dimension, and it helps with specific areas. Today I brought you a painting called Life. I want my two daughters and grandchildren to open the painting, please. This is the first time my grandchildren come to an opening of mine, so I'm, I'm really so excited. Thank you, I love you all. <laughs> I love you. So, we're gonna do a brief meditation with this painting. Can we put the music of the ocean? You're gonna have a, a direct experience with it. This painting opens the portals that connect to life and to oneness. It helps us balance, anchors us, locating us in the present moment. Water is a source and symbol of life, an element found in an extraordinary variety of form in nature. It's in oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, torrents, mountains, rains, or tears of pain and rejoice. Water shows us that there is no diversion, and any diversion that we believe exists, it's an illusion created by our present. And that is done by the limited state of awareness. We are more often than not waves, believing ourselves to be separate from the ocean. So my dear friends, please relax and take this opportunity as an inspiring moment to reconnect to your own life, to all life. Take a breath in and feel your breath. Close your eyes for a second. Listen to the ocean. The same water that you're listening to and that's in the image is moving your own water within your body. Now breathe and watch the painting again. Watch what you see within the painting. Can somebody tell me what you're seeing in it? The 
Hyde. What else? Que ven en el cuadro. Life. And what happened to life? Shipwreck. Shipwreck. How many times can you raise your hands? Have you been in your life in a point that you feel you can't go on anymore and you feel shipwrecked? How many times? <laughs> we all have been there many times. When you're feeling and you're seeing and you're listening to the waves, your senses are being exhaled. Dr. Emoto presents like he just died this week, unfortunately. He presents scientific validity to water's innate ability to retain energetic impressions of vibrations, be it sound, image, emotion, or intent. Sherry, can you help me with this? This is an excerpt from the book of the Art of Healing Art, which is the third lesson of the book. Are we living or merely existing? Faith enables us to conquer life's challenges. Faith is our survival mode. Without faith, life becomes meaningless, and we find ourselves relating only to the material world. To be alive means to take risks so we can navigate through the sea of life. It is to journey with fluidity, adapting to changes as they present themselves. It is to accept life's tests instead of resisting or opposing them, thanking them for giving us an opportunity for growth. It is to decide to swim and not drown, to not resist as we learn to flow. As we flow, we will discover peace and serenity within us, and our hearts will open to life itself. When we lose our connection to our spirit, we lose the breath of life. The heart beats, resonating with the pulse of life. Everything rises and falls as part of the beat of life. In the physical world, Nothing remains static. Everything has vibration and movement. The ups and downs of emotional waves lift one's being in times of peace and joy and lower it in moments of pain and suffering. In life's constant movement, there are declines of times of unsteadiness to show us that these experiences are also necessary to celebrate a reason to awaken to life. The times of pain and challenges are temporary and they will disappear when we are able to transform them. Everything will pass. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you to a little meditation with it and the experience of the invisible. We talked about the shipwreck. When we feel that we are in a shipwreck, that we're destroyed, the only thing that really is destroyed is the illusion world, the ego. There is no way that our true divine being can ever be destroyed. Can I have the light down, please? This is our soul. This is who we truly are. Here you see that the boat is not at all destroyed. It's sailing and complete. Can you all see it? We are eternal. There is nothing that can really destroy who we are. The only thing that destroys us are our own thoughts 
and our own way of seeing and being attached to the ego and the illusion world. Now meditate a second because this painting can put you into the present moment allowing you to live in the past what's in the past. Letting go of everything that's holding you back that does not serve the purpose of being divine now. Can I have the lights again? <laughs> In your soul. <laughs> Hidden within you. <laughs> so I came out with this invisible techniques, which I patented in 1986. I was asking God, God, please let me show people your light. Use me as your tool, use me as your brush. Please, let us show the divine being that we all are. And that's how God guided me and I patented it for the first time in 1986. Now you can imagine, talking about invisibility in 1986 was like, I'm a little weirdo, <laughs> which is okay. I don't park a car, I park a broom. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> so one of the things about my story that you were asking, the book came along with an amazing story. I got sick in 2005. If you think now I can't talk, at that time I couldn't talk. They thought I had a brain tumor. and. I went to the Mayo Clinic with my daughter, three weeks of very, very painful tests. And not only I couldn't talk at all, but I couldn't function but one hour per day. It was really excruciating, it was really difficult. And like everything we do, you know, in life, nowadays, I just welcome God, you know? I can't talk, I take the microphone and I talk. And I say, okay, God, you talk it works. <laughs> it's not gonna take me down, that's for sure. So everything has a, a learning lesson behind it. And when we're sick, we don't see that part. We don't see the opportunity that lies within it. So guess what happened? Because I was silenced in my mouth, I learned to listen to the silence. And within the silence, the whole book was dictated to me. That's how this book came along. For three years, I wrote the book. And there were days that I would say, don't dictate so quickly. <laughs> I'm losing parts of it. And I lost parts of it, truly. <laughs> and uh, so that's, that happened from 2005 to 2009. And I realized how, what a wonderful opportunity. I would have never, ever done the book. The book is about 15 paintings being used as a portal. We are not used to knowing that a piece of art is not only matter. A piece of art is made of atoms, and those atoms are vibrating. They're approaching you your body, your emotions, and your soul. And when you saw the black light, I'm sure you felt chills, and I'm sure you felt it. And what you feel is your soul popping up, because we cover it with so many layers daily that we're not in contact with it, and that's what we all crave for. So Sherry, you are gonna read a little bit about the, with the book. I really want to thank everybody for being here. Um, this is the book in Spanish. Where's the book in English? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we have it in Spanish, which is going to be read because there are people in the audience who are Spanish speaking. 
And this is the book. I think I can you go speak without the microphone. Good for you. Okay. All right. Really? Oh, how wonderful. Global. We got we went global. Hello everyone all over the world. Uh, this is the book, The Art of Healing Art. It's a magnificent book. It's over 250 pages. And you can use this book as an oracle, which we will. And we will ask participants from the audience to come up and ask a question. It's a divining book. So it can help you if you've heard of The Course of Miracles. It is very similar to The Course of Miracles. And the big difference, of course, is the art of Jacqueline Ripstein. This one is entitled The Cosmic Chess Game of Life. These are all very, very large paintings. It's in Jacqueline's personal gallery and museums around the world. And within this book, I just wanted to show you some of the pictures and then read just some of the excerpts from it. The, it's, it's an incredible book. It's just magnificent to even touch. It's just so sensual and the words just start vibrating within you. Love is the positive pole to hate's negative, as courage is to fears. To master our lives is the goal of this game. Our life's journey is undertaken, obviously, by a physical body. And to the degree that we can listen to our inner being, it is then guided by our spirit. The rules of the game of life are based upon the energy principles that rule all of creation. We are not mere observers in this game, not helpless pawns in this game. We are co-creators, producers, and actors. I'm sure at one time you remember, we used to call it central casting, and we are all part of it. We're here on the stage of life. We are all born with some predestined events in our life of karma and dharma. We then create our life's experiences. We are responsible for all our actions and every outcome. Every t step we take is ours, and there are definite rules as we play the game of life. By following them, you and I can balance our lives and maintain higher levels of vibration because we're all energy in motion. That's what we are. And we will flow with the universe. Everything is in existence with energy. All creation is based on energy and vibration. Respect yourself so you can respect others. Love yourself so you can love. Live with integrity and honor your word for every day you will encounter yourself in the mirror of life. This was not the page I was going to read from. <laughs> I just opened it. I went, whoa, this vibrates with me. All about the lightness. And then um, this is her beautiful artwork and poetry in the cosmic chess game of life. All about the duality of light and darkness, truth, falsehood, reality, illusion, Love, hate, joy, sorrow, giving, receiving, peace, war, ascent, descent. Are we awake or are we asleep? This is what Jacqueline is asking us, each one of us at every age, wherever we are in our life, to answer this question for ourselves. Do you prefer to be asleep and just walk through life without any feelings? Or would you like to be awake, alert, and make your conscious choices. This is the I am. And Jacqueline speaks about the I am presence, which is in each of us. That is how we nourish and love ourselves. In the school of life, the events, the situations, and the people you have attracted to be part of your personal experience are synchronized perfectly, perfectly, we may not know why we're sitting next to someone right now and why each of one of us came to be here tonight, but we're perfect to be here to teach each of us the lessons that we need to learn. We, we show exactly what is needed to be successful in our lives. Human experiences 
very often include challenges that slowly lift the veils of darkness, allowing the rays of the higher self to shine through. Poverty and wealth are states of mind determined by our attachment to the material world. The less we know love and recognize ourselves as our true being, the less abundance, however we define it, manifests in our lives. The more we can see our own personal greatness, our own personal glory, and the reality of our inner being, the more our mind expands and the greater abundance we attract. And that's the law of attraction, which I'm sure we've all heard of and we would like to manifest in our lives. And in this book, we shared the secrets of doing this, which is not a secret. It's right here in the I Am Presence. This is a very wonderful tool for us to work with. And I would like to ask Patricia to come and read something from the book in Spanish. Thank you. And then if you have a question, we're going to be using the book as the divining tool it is, right after Patricia Thank you, Sharon. reads an excerpt. Hi. As the book is also in Spanish, so this is my part. Yo quiero compartir, um, quisiera comentar antes de, de hacer la lectura, que antes de leer el libro conocí las pinturas, las obras de Jacqueline. Y quedé tan conmovida de, de todas esas emociones, todas esas sensaciones que tuve al experimentarlas con los distintos tipos de luz que ustedes pudieron ahora ver con la luz de día y la luz de noche, lo que, lo que llamamos y lo que nos enfrenta al mundo visible y al mundo invisible. Que una vez que, que tuve esa experiencia dije, eh, qué difícil, qué difícil superar esto en un libro. Qué difícil que siendo este arte tan hermoso pudiera ser también así el libro. Y debo confesar que me sorprendió muchísimo, porque cada lección, cada, la, cada letra, cada palabra, era precisamente ese mensaje de amor, de compasión, de perdón, de luz, que expresa ella a través de sus obras. Tenemos aquí problemas con el sonido. Entonces, yo voy a leer acá una cosa que tengo marcada de una de las lecciones. A ver. Dice así. El ser humano posee una enorme capacidad para sobreponerse a las dificultades. Se adapta a todo cambio. La enseñanza, la enseñanza adquirida por medio de los errores es el comienzo de una nueva etapa individual y colectiva de crecimiento. El deseo por el aprendizaje nos permitirá ascender con rapidez, vivir y fluir sin resistencia frente a los cambios que estamos experimentando. ¿Qué debemos hacer para fluir con el cambio y ascender? Estar despiertos y conscientes, no dormidos ni letárgicos. Es necesario controlar los pensamientos y ver hacia el interior del ser para poder establecer la verdadera realidad exterior. Por supuesto, sin olvidar, tomar la responsabilidad de nuestras acciones. Es indispensable pensar en forma positiva, ya que de esa manera crearemos altas vibraciones de energía que nos impulsarán a ascender. Los actos y pensamientos bajos nos hacen descender. Al aceptar nuestra luz y la unión con el todo, conectamos la conciencia infinita. Crear esta realidad es ser parte de la evolución consciente hacia la nueva era, la luz y la paz. Gracias, Jacqueline, por este, este regalo de este libro tan hermoso, que mientras más lo leía, más lo disfrutaba. Ella en un momento me preguntó, ¿ya terminaste el libro? Yo le dije, no, lo estoy ahorrando. <risa> Me dijo, ¿cómo es eso? Bueno, ¿por qué está tan bonito que tengo que ir despacio? Porque necesito releerlo, necesito disfrutarlo. Es un libro hermoso, es una joya. Funciona además como oráculo en el momento en que quieren consultar algo, alguna inquietud, este, a, se concentran, lo abren en esa página en la que les caiga y ahí hay una, una lección hermosa que les va a dejar algo para ustedes y para su alma. Y es un libro que desde el principio hasta el final... 
invita a reencontrarte con tu ego de una forma amistosa, a reconocerlo en ti, pero no dejar que domine tu vida, sino la luz y el amor. Gracias, Jacqueline. Thank you, Patricia. Would you like to do the testimony? Yeah. We have a few people here who have read the book. And we would love if somebody wants to share their testimonial. <laughs> oh, God. oh, would you rather Spanish, French, or English? I speak all three fluently. I know, I, I know Sherry since, Shelly. Nine, Shelly since 1992. Oh, oh whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Anyhow, Jacqueline walked into my store. I owned a a new age store, bookstore, in, in, in Aventura. And we looked in each other's eyes, really, and that was, we just instantly bonded. I saw through her eyes. And then when she shared her life with me, her paintings, and we ended up doing some work together, I just knew that this was a special woman on the planet. I mean, she was just beyond just a customer. She was really like dropped down and I said to her, where did you come from? <laughs> where, who are you? <laughs> I was just amazed because what you, you're not hearing her the way I was, I was able to hear her. And I really want to acknowledge the struggle that it had to be tonight for her to get out who she truly is. But this is who she truly is and not her voice. So I just wanted to say that, Jacqueline, this book, and I owned a bookstore and I don't even read anymore. However, I picked this book up and I'm a life coach and I keep it on my desk and I've asked my clients to just turn a page and whatever page they turned, it meant something to them. And every page I turned, it meant something to me. And I really think that this belongs in everyone's household. This is not a plug for the book. It's a plug to really see how, what's happening in your everyday lives just by reading and looking at this book. So Jacqueline, thank you, and thank you for being who you are. And I love you. I love you too, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so really. Good. And I'll <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> Monica, you want to share? You're going to make me cry. Okay. Um, good evening. Um, my name is Monica Rosales, and I'm, I'm very honored to be here at, at any event with Jacqueline. She's always inspiring me in, in new and different and very meaningful ways. Um, I'll say this as best I can in Spanish as well. Um, but first, she, she had taken me out, and she had asked me to, to open up the book. So, uh, of course, I did. And the first line that I read said, who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> and I was like, well, it's not very promising for me. <laughs> but as I continued to read, it was really about seeking my life's mission. And that was really something very important to me at the time. And um, the, the more we have worked together and been together and I've read her book, I can see that sometimes we do get lost in looking for our life's mission, but really it, it finds us. 
I mean, as, as soon as we find this light and this love, our mission manifests. There's nothing to seek. It finds us. So truly, I, I can attest that this is a meaningful book, and, and it's true. Um, en español, voy a tratar mi español es segundo idioma, pero uh, Jacqueline sí me había um, dado el, el libro y yo abrí una página que, que me me preguntó planamente, uh, ¿quién eres tú y qué haces aquí? Y yo no pensé en ese momento que iba a ser buena noticia para mí, pero con el tiempo y, y leyendo más, um, de verdad estaba haciéndome las preguntas sobre la misión mía personal. Y, y, y en eso, con tiempo y con amor, yo, yo he, me he dado cuenta que la misión uno no hay que buscarla. La misión uno lo encuentra uno con la luz y el amor. So, por eso, muchas gracias a, a Jacqueline. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs> Ay, my granddaughter, great. <laughs> um, I'm going to say it in Spanish. Yo nada más quiero decir que mi abuelita me ha ayudado mucho en mi vida. Ella me ha cambiado mi forma de pensar y mi forma de creer. Cómo me ha ayudado en mis problemas, en mi, me ha ayudado a saber quién soy. Y cómo siempre yo puedo... No tengo que siempre ver lo que los demás piensan en mí. Siempre tengo que ser yo quien quiero ser. Y nadie más puede decirme quién soy. Yo voy a saber quién soy. Y ella siempre me ha mostrado la luz. Y siempre me ha enseñado cosas que nadie más ha podido. Y estoy muy orgullosa de ella. Ay, yo muy orgullosa de ti. Mi amor. My best teachers and my inspiration. Alan. Not the two little ones. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna say in Spanish again. Well, okay. Muchas gracias, Vivi. Te aprecio mucho. De cada vez que yo me enojaba, te decía, soy tus energías y nada más no entendía qué, qué, qué tanto tenías con las energías. Pero con el tiempo me, me aprendí. Let me say it in English. He's saying, Hi, Vivi, you taught me so much. You and your energies, and every time I would get angry with you, I would say, yes, baby, you and your energy, uh -huh. you and your energy. Oh, and, um, y también te quiero decir que me has enseñado mucho, que cuando a veces tenía problemas, venía tú, y gracias por siempre estar ahí para mí. Ay, mi vida. Y felicidades. ¿Quieres decir algo? Di hola, ¿cómo estás? Gracias y bye. <laughs> Gracias, Vivi, por enseñarme la luz de tus cuadros. Te quiero. Thank you. Thank you, Vivi, for showing me the light of your paintings. You know, he comes to my house and he starts like a magician, first with my fountain, starts going through the mountain, fountain like Bibi Di Bibi Di Boo. And that's why they call me Bibi, by the way, Bibi Di Bibi Di Boo. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts talking to the angels and to, you know, the, the sheep and to the paintings, to the invisible, mainly. So it's really amazing, you know, to, to see them. And there he comes. I've had the luck to have Arlette, my daughter, she lives in Mexico, they all live in Mexico, but this last year, God gave us the gift for them to come and live here in Miami, which they're going back in January, and my heart is like pounding, but I'm very grateful for all this time we've had together. What can I say? I'm gonna say it in English, <laughs> mostly English people here. So um, I just wanna, I'm very proud of my mom. You see how people talk about her, and that's, I mean, there's no words I can express how, how she truly is, I, as they say. There's no words to put her in because there's no words enough, good enough. 
And uh, I mean, she's an amazing person, an amazing woman, an amazing mother, an amazing grandmother. And I am glad that she, she's sharing with everybody in her book all her heart, her ideas, and her knowledge because it's very, very vast. And I hope that everybody takes a, sh a little piece of share because that's what her mission in life was since I was like two. She w I was always listening to my mom saying, I have to complete my mission in life and I have to complete my mission in life. And now she has. And I'm very proud of her because she has always, it's not about money, it's about sharing and wanting, wanting people to awaken and really feel what she really feels in her heart. So I'm glad that she finally did this. And this works amazing, and it talks by itself, that same as the paintings, that I'm an art historian. I always go by this rather than this, but both of them are the best tools in life. And I'm glad that she's sharing that with all of you. I have to tell you a, a quick story. <laughs> both my daughters, one day were in the plane, and they say to me, Mommy, no spiritual words, okay? No energy. Don't talk <laughs> about it, okay? So, <laughs> by chance, we're going to Europe, and they both are in front of me, and they see the man by my side. <laughs> and at the middle of the trip, he says, I'm going home because my grandmother died, and I know she's there. I know she's watching over me. So I kick my daughters and say, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing to have beautiful children. Any questions? This is Stephanie, my oldest daughter. Hi, good night, everyone. Um, my good teacher. I wanted Arlette to speak because I'm always here at my mom's, all her presentations, so I always, I always talk. And there's not much that I can say um, that I haven't said before. I think um, she is amazing. Um, it's been hard in some ways to grow up with such a woman as a mother. It's been a great lesson for me. It's been hard at times, but amazing at the same time. I've learned a lot from you, and thank you for that. And uh, um, it keeps being a challenge, but you like to challenge the world and always teach and show. And I this book is amazing, so if you guys have a chance to read it, um, like my mom says, she is not the writer. She's the tool. She, the messages flow through her. When I re I'm a journalist, and when I first uh, read the beginning of her book that she sent to me, I was like, uh, well, I knew you can paint well, but when did you turn into the journalist? How can you write? I was like, um, are you writing this alone? Like, how is this <laughs> happening? And she said to me, same thing with the paintings. The, the knowledge just comes down. Like, she never studied art, and even though she'd never studied art, she can paint this, and it's unbelievable. So I think um, that's a gift that she has from, from God and for life. And I think it's amazing that she's dedicating her mission to, to share it with the world and try to make a better world for all of us. So if you have a little bit um, you know, of curiosity and want to open a little bit your heart, you're going to take a lot from, from this. And thank you for all, your, um, all the learning that we've had. And I love you. A quick, a quick funny story with Steffi. When I paint, I tell them, don't knock at the door. Mm -hmm. Don't come in because I'm not here. You know, you can see me. My brush is going very fast. My eyes are, you know, like blinking, and I'm not here. And they couldn't understand it, you know, because I was there. So one night in Mexico in my studio, I have the music, it was like two o'clock in the morning. It was in really loud. And suddenly, <laughs> Steffi is in front of me and I start shouting. I went no, like- No, no, let me tell this story <laughs> correctly. So I had, a, I had school, so any normal kid would be sleeping. <laughs> and here I am listening to Ennio Morricone at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I'm not gonna wake up for school. I had insomnia. 
So I went and I knocked on the door, um, which I never heard. Yeah, to tell her to please lower disco because I needed to sleep. <laughs> and when I knocked the door, she said, come in. But I saw she was so in the painting that I gave her time. So I approached to her like step by step. <laughs> and I just stood there to see when she was going to look at me because I knew she was connected. Uh, and trust me, if I didn't know my mom better, I would have thought she was in some kind of drug or trance or something, <laughs> which is, it is not the case because she's not there. So suddenly she looks at me and she starts shouting like that scene in the E.T. movie when they see each other and they're screaming. <laughs> and I started screaming back because why is she screaming at me? And they were like, what? I'm like, this is not normal. <laughs> You better the two of us. <laughs> so yeah, we have a lot of anecdotes like that. But um, you know, um, she's created like big steps to follow, and I try to do my own in charities and events and things. And you know, it's been great to have such an example. And she needs to help people. This one, it took me around the eight months. Right, so it's not like when you go in the room and you and you go into this, whoever comes through you, or you and you don't, you don't, you don't do it till you till the painting's finished. You do it in different episodes at different times. And the way I see it, as an artist, you never finish a piece of art. You f you decide to leave it, but it can always be worked. You know, it's like life. You go on and on, and you can add and add. One time, a collector of mine gave me a painting to fix, which I wish they would have never done that, because I gave them a different painting back. <laughs> <laughs> never give a painting to an artist to, to retouch. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other question? Fred, I'm happy that, that you started painting. I'm really honored. Ah, you haven't started? Well. I'm thinking about it. It's an eight month process. <laughs> don't think about it. When you give birth, you don't think about it. That's the woman here. I'm my kitchen first. <laughs> <laughs> OK, anybody else? Any question? Uh, OK. Please, please, please. I adore Suji. Hello, darling. <laughs> this is magic. When you pick this up, speak into the mic. When you pick this up, you don't want to put it down. It has a feel all of its own. She's chosen the most magnificent paper. Everything is beautiful. The colors, are, oh, I got the wrong one. The colors are magnificent, and my fingers just want to touch it. And I become, it's like you have a connection. I have a connection. Just touching it, it's like, and I, I have a really hard time turning the page to get to the next one because there's a connection. We were driving over in the car, and I had my fingers on one of them, and Sherry said, are you practicing the piano? And there was music coming through my fingers out of the painting. So My thank gracious. you, because this is its own. I mean, there's the art, and there's the art, and there's the art, and there's the majesty of this art. Thank you. Thank it's you. beautiful. That's Love really you. beautiful, Suji, because <laughs> <laughs> when you are talking about vibrations and music, there are two languages, really one language of the universe that converts into two. Vibrations, which are music, and colors. Mm. Absolutely. So you're connected. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. I don't know for sure what. If you put the blue light with the lights on on your painting, try that. See what happens. Because you can't the see it too much. There's what? too much light. Just can you just try it and see? Just because I know when I've seen your paintings, like people might have. Yeah. Back it up a little bit so it covers a bigger area. Very difficult. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I've seen it at your galleries, because you can, with the lights on, you can really see it. Do you want to see it again? We can ask okay, for them to lower the, yeah? Can you lower the lights? Yeah, we'll lower it right here. Yeah, maybe not lower it all the way. Maybe just enough to Usually it comes with a museum light, but I took it off today. Oh yeah, you can see it better, yeah. So there's images within the images on the blue light. They're yeah. amazing, beautiful, yeah. those that don't know. Just sit down. Just sit down. Take a breath because it's only going within you. You know, even though we don't realize it, the vibrations are creating healing energy. Utiliza en el momento, respiren, y usa en la vibración que emana el cuadro para que entre en su alma. Folks, then, if there are no more questions, a quick reminder for our internet audience watching at home, you can still call the number on your screen, purchase a copy of the book, we will get it signed, and we will ship it to wherever you are in the U.S. free of charge. Also, a reminder that all of our live streamed events are archived, so if you don't get to watch it live, you can go to the Books and Books website, uh, go to the live streaming link, and every event that we broadcast from here at the store will be saved there for you to watch at your convenience. For those of you here in the house, we have the book for sale at the counter in color, in black and white, also a Spanish version. Uh, this has been such an interesting event. I want to thank the lovely contributions from the audience members who came up and spoke. And please, everyone give a big hand to Jacqueline. Thank you very much. <laughs>